Hello guys and welcome back to the traitors. Now it's been a while since I have done a traitors video. We last did US2 way, way, way back in June, which means it is time for another series and this time it is New Zealand season one, which has just dropped on BBC iPlayer, which is where I'm going to be watching this. If you're in the UK, whack on BBC iPlayer, treat yourself to a new episode of traitors but i am going to be doing something a little bit different with this series instead of doing my usual oh i'm gonna sit in a little box and there's gonna be pictures on the side and i'm gonna be like Ooh -hoo. we're actually going to be reacting to the series this time so all 10 episodes i think there's 10 episodes i am going to be reacting to and therefore you're going to see my live genuine authentic reactions to all of the shenanigans that go down i don't know what happens in this show I don't even know who hosts it, so I am excited to get into it. But before we do, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Do all that YouTube stuff that you guys do so well. And for more Traitors content, make sure to let me know down below in the comment section. And maybe, just maybe, I might be able to do a new one in the future when it comes out. But anyway, let's get into the episode, shall we? I was a police officer. I'm quite good at reading people. Those are famous last words. Every single police officer that comes on this show goes, I can read people very well. I can read people very well. And then they end up voting the wrong person seven weeks in a row. The old guy from Australia too. Keith, I think his name was. He was a former undercover whatever. He was shit at the game. So I say famous last words. I do think it is a strength having psychic ability. No, we don't have a psychic. Oh, God. Again, the last psychic we had was Sarah on Australia 2. The one before that was What's Her Face off of Australia 1, who ended up just blowing the whole game up and then just dipping for no reason. So I think we should ban psychics from this show. Because is it not embarrassing when you get things wrong? Is it not really embarrassing when you're just completely wrong all the time? Some of us are well known and some of us are not well known and it's really interesting to know what that's going to do going into the game. Don't worry, Bestie, you're all unknown to me. I don't know anybody from New Zealand. In fact, no, that's incorrect. I know one person and it's that hilarious comedian whose name I've forgotten, but I see I come up on my TikTok every now and then. Basically, anyone who's been on Taskmaster New Zealand, I know roughly because I watch them on TikTok. Melanie Bracewell, that's one. There's another one, blonde hair, she's a lesbian. Can't remember her name, but she is iconic. I love her. She's amazing. She has me howling when I watch her videos. So yeah, I don't know any of you guys, but I don't know. I know some New Zealanders. Who is that? Because I'm blind. So I asked Brody, and she said it's Paul Henry, and that blew my mind. We have a blind person playing the game? Craziness. Purely because I feel like so much of this game is watching people's reactions and looking at their body language and things like that. So it'll be very interesting to see how a blind person deals with all of that. I, I don't think I could play this game blind. You'll pocket up to $70,000. Quite the kitty, yes? Wait, 70000 New Zealand dollars. I need to know the conversion rate. It's only 33 grand. I say only. Like, 33 grand is not a lot of money. But, like, the UK version is 120000 the Australian version is like a hundred, two hundred thousand. I can't remember how many it was. And the the American one is like two hundred fifty thousand. It's craziness out there. Out in America, they just got money to spend. She's got money to share around. No wonder Sari wanted to cut everyone up. Do you trust your own instincts? Do you? Why not? <laughs> I'm good at. The woman just going. No, don't trust my own instincts. I'm really, I don't know why I'm here. I don't know. My son signed me up. My son said it would be a good opportunity for me to get my name out there. I'm just here for the bants. I want to know where you're likely to end up in this game. From most likely to succeed at this end, least likely to succeed at this end. Is he going to cut someone like Claudia did? Not on the first day. You can't. You can't do that to them because I know how devastating that would be. That is criminal. You can't be doing that to them first day, Paul Henry or whatever your name is. Come on, that's nasty. That's not very nice. But instead, I've placed $10,000 in silver. 
on the top of that plinth. This is plot twist upon plot twist. Uh, this is what's so good about watching international versions of the, the uh, traitors format is the fact that like, I feel like I'm always so like, oh, every time something happens outside of the norm, like with both the US and the UK one, they very much follow the same path, same challenges, same kind of twists in the season. Whereas like every time they do something on these shows, I'm like, oh, what's happening here? On my command and not before, race over there. First one there takes the kitty. Your time in the game will end immediately. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. The prize is 70,000 and he's just offered a seventh of that for anyone who wants to just dip first. I'm taking it. I'm going. No, I'm not. I'm staying for the game. But also, it's a hard one because like, do you just take the money now and leave knowing that you've walked away with 10,000 or play the game and potentially lose? That's a tough choice. That's a tough... I wonder whether anyone's gonna take it. That's, what, a seventh of the prize for just showing up on day one. That is the biggest paycheck I will ever see in my life. That's what I said. It's a seventh of the grand total. A seventh? That's craziness. On Just for showing up on day one. Literally for just getting in a car ride. That's crazy. Yeah, I think it would be worth it. I think, do you know what? Good on him for taking the money. Good on him. I don't even know his name. This is when they find out that this is actually fake money. <laughs> Are you ready for a cup of tea? Maybe a lie down. I know I am. Don't worry, I've already got a cup of tea. I'm already sorted. I'm already five steps ahead of you, bestie. I'm absolutely luscious. Um, I'm a crime writer. I'm in a place where you're gonna kill someone every night. <laughs> and it's not me. You're killing people. Yeah. Are you sure? Are you sure it's not gonna be you killing anyone? I'm not so sure. I think you'd be the perfect candidate. This is the thing. This whole, like, chatting before they've actually been to the round table. It means nothing. I think I will keep what I know psychically to myself rather than sharing that information. Just say you don't have anything. Just say you know nothing because I would rather you say that than lie to our faces like this. I'm gonna keep what I know psychically to myself. Okay. Would you be quite happy to murder? Oh, easy. Within a blink of an eyelid. That's going to be coming up in court. <laughs> That's not going to look good for her. Welcome to the round table. I've got to say, the budget isn't budgeting for this round table. It looks a little bit cheap and tacky. I won't lie. I won't lie. Like, I'm not a massive fan of, like, the courtroom look of, like, Australia. I think it's all right and it serves its purpose. But nothing's going to beat the round table from the UK and the US version. It's just perfect perfection it's got the right vibes you feel claustrophobic even though it's a very big room this just feels claustrophobic but in like a weird way like why are the walls draped in blue fabric it just seems a bit odd i won't lie i'm not vibing with that everything else so far fabulous vibes this not so much do you lie easily i do i'm here to win you know we've all got a goal and i want to get there this is the issue, is I'm so delusional that I feel like I could gaslight people into believing that I was faithful very easily. Like, very easily. And this is the issue, like, I have the traitor's card game, and I love the traitor's card game, don't get me wrong. But playing it with my friends is so jarring because they know when I'm lying. They know. They, they do. Or, like, I'm not able to gaslight them 100%. I can gaslight them to, like, 95%, and then the other 5% just takes over. And I'm like, no! It's so frustrating. So I feel like in a bunch of, like, random people, I could do quite well. I could gaslight them all. I think they could be so gaslit that they take themselves out of the game. They vote for themselves. I'm like, oh, it could possibly be me. But it could be you. And they're like, oh, my God, you're so, you're right. It could be me, even though they're faithful. That's how powerful I am. Not literally, I'm joking. This is an entire joke, but I feel like I would be good as a traitor, personally. I was tapped on the shoulder. Very happy with being selected as a traitor. Quite pleased with how the game's played out so far. Now this is scary. This man is a professional poker player. This guy's gonna run rings around everyone. I can already see it. I can already envision it. He's gonna be like, I couldn't, nah, I'm not a traitor. I'm a faithful. I'm a faithful and here's why. And he's going to show his whole hand and I'm going to be like, this is scary levels of deception. 
scary levels. What do you mean, professional poker player? I've never felt that kind of energy before. Lauren! I think that's how you say her name because that's a wild spelling of Lauren if I've ever seen one. This is crazy exciting. Two great picks so far. I'm kind of very excited to get into this series because decisions are going to get made and I'm excited to see them worm their way out of trouble. Oh, this is going to be juicy and exciting. I can just see it. The main feeling I've got here is kind of like devious excitement. I'm gonna have to hurt some people's feelings. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. This is br what a great pick of three traitors. What a great pick. I have selected my traitors. If I heard that and he hasn't tapped me on the shoulder, I'm going for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. Why hasn't he picked me? Why? And then I'm getting voted out first round table because I'm like, guys, no, I promise I'm not a traitor. I promise. I pro that was a genuine reaction. Ugh. I would literally probably go, ugh. Like, literally, I'd just be sat there like, ugh. Now I've got to play with you, numbskulls. God, I'm going to be dragged down to the depths with you guys. No brain cells here. Let's hope that these faithfuls are actually quite smart. I need a smart set of faithfuls. I need them. I can't be dealing with just a complete and utter landslide by the traitors. I can't, I can't, I can't. One of you will be murdered by the traitors. Already, we're already having a murder. Episode one, but it's time for another one of them dumb challenges that actually mean nothing in the show because they haven't worked out a way to properly integrate it yet. Woohoo! I'm gonna go full faithful. I'm gonna. F I don't know. You seem to be talking a lot, which just seems to be a bit out of character. I feel like there's some New Zealand banter that I'm missing. Is she not a very nice person in real life? Is that is that what I'm missing? When she's like, oh, I'm gonna try and be a nice person. Okay. Okay, Karen, let's calm that down. Let's calm it. Who do you think will go, go get home murdered. tonight? Get mm. murdered. The psychic over here would be like, you know, maybe. If the traders believed in your powers, though. Yeah. Who's going to die first? I think it's the I think it's the psychic, personally. I think it's going to be the psychic. Oh, well, that's only if the traders believe in her powers. <laughs> Honestly, same, though, because, like, I do not believe in the psychic's power. Do you know what I will? Is when they call out one of us, and then I could just ax. I can act as long as it's not me. If it's me, then they can stay in the game. I don't think I believe her. I want her to start telling me who the traitors are going to be. Because the last time we had someone like that on the show was... Oh, we've, we seem to have a psychic every single series. Not so much on the US, but on the UK we had What's Her Face from Season 2. Lovely woman. Didn't make it very far. Also, didn't have a correct guess once. Then we also had Tracy, that was her name. Love Tracy, she was an icon. On the Australian version, we had Sarah. And then on season one, we had, oh God, what was her name? Curly, curly hair. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's just a bit weird, isn't it? It's just a bit of a weird one. I don't know whether I would trust a psychic or not. Robbie is my number one suspect. I'm just getting alarm bells from her. It feels yucky. How have you mugged yourself off in one episode? You haven't even been on for the entire episode. You've already mugged yourself off. How? How have you managed that one? I'm in pure shock and disbelief. I'm sorry. But how'd you come on this show and mug yourself off? I couldn't come on here if I was a psychic. Because what if I'm wrong? And I am wrong, obviously. Because she's not a traitor. It's just embarrassing at that point, innit? If you don't have any other thoughts of who it could be, it is just so much easier to follow what she said. I don't know. I find it very interesting. And I think this is the thing about psychics is that the traitor should keep them alive and see what they've got to say. And if they're coming up with wrong names, keep them alive. Because if they're throwing out wrong names, then people are more likely to trust a psychic who has some kind of ability to see like people who are negative energy, like that kind of thing you'd expect them to be correct and therefore the faithful will vote somebody out that is wrong. And I think that's a very, very smart strategy. Matt's an interesting one because he's so aloof about how it works. You're not sure yeah. whether it's yeah. so a boy or with A. I cannot believe that they're already questioning that 
Donny, I don't remember his name. I don't remember anyone's name currently at the moment, to be fair. Uh, the radio host, they're already questioning him and going, oh, he's a bit too aloof. Is that a ploy or is that just how he is? Oh, you really do have to be careful in this game because everybody is under a microscope. Everybody, it's like this. Everyone is like literally just this close from being completely and utterly taken out of this game by a mass voting mob. Do you know what I mean? It's craziness. That, that sense of just a lovable kind of fun dude mm. who's not taking it too seriously and he just takes the hood off and he's like... <laughs> How have they called it day one? How? How have they called it day one? I'm so over. I'm so over this. I'm so over this. These people are too smart. They're too good. They're too good for their own good. Upon arriving, you'll have 45 minutes to sink ball number seven in a standard game of pool. Jesus. I was going to say, could they not just team up and play pool against each other however i feel like they don't they still don't know who each other are so i feel like that's actually a little bit trickier hmm interesting i i don't understand why this is a thing but okay i'm here for it because i have ms i have multiple sclerosis the fact that i'm legally blind i'm planning to use it for my advantage i'm hoping that people will feel a bit sorry for me and i will Take that and run with it. What an icon. What an absolute icon using his MS to completely gain sympathy and make sure people don't vote him out. That's brilliant. Gets him further in the game, I guess. Could it possibly be me? I am but a humble blind person. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm expecting him to do. He's going to pull out every single trick in the book, I can tell. I should have, I should have told you. I should have lived with it. I have no idea. I've closed my eyes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that is the craziest plot twist of the whole episode so far. That's crazy. That was a wig. I have to say, I didn't like the haircut. <laughs> I didn't like it. I thought the bangs were just like a little bit too, like, shaped. And I was like, ooh. But like, it's, if it's a wig, yeah, that's fair. But it's slay, honestly, I couldn't have told that. I just thought she had a dodgy haircut. Um, let me know if I'm doing this right or wrong. Like Do not put your glass on the edge of the pool table. It's so easy for it to slip off. Don't do that. Put it up on the mantelpiece. I beg you, please. Lauren, I think that's your name. Please, for the love of God. Have you got three sort of ideas? So you've already got like one sort of strong picture coming through. I've got four ideas. Four? Yeah. Oh. She's got four people in mind. There's only three traitors, bestie. Come on, keep chatting away, keep on chitter chattering. Possibly four of the worst players ever to play pool, so that game was going to take ages. Oh, oh they're actually just the worst. <laughs> they're so bad at pool. I'm quite good at pool, to be fair. I used to play it a lot on holiday. I don't normally play it throughout the year, but like I used to play it on holiday a lot. So like for two weeks every year, I was amazing. And then I'd lose my skills and then I'd like train back up again on holiday. Sort it out, who you're murdering tonight. No, I plan on being too drunk to murder anyone. <laughs> Robbie for me is someone who's just flicked up on my radar a few times. Oh, it's so painful that you can't even joke in this game without people taking it seriously. Like very clearly that was a joke. Oh, are you looking forward to murdering someone tonight? Oh, I'm going to be too drunk to murder anyone. That's a joke. Bestie, I feel like you need to you need to lower your expectations because you're not going to find a traitor that easily. We stripes the Oh fuck. <laughs> well done. Mission accomplished. Fantastic. That was incredible. Got to play the fool. Ah. Oh, we why didn't you tell us we were stripes? Ah, oh, for goodness sake. It's time for your first mission. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> first mission already? Huh? This, this is, they're, they're mixing things up. It's boggling my brain. I don't know what's going on, guys. I need you to find my treasure for me. Seven minutes to find four gold coins in this house. Four silver coins, sorry, not gold. That's for the UK and the US version. Silver in Australia and New Zealand. But yeah, interesting, interesting, interesting. I'm very excited to see whether they get this or not. I love a good old game of hide and go hunt. That's very fun. So yeah, I'm excited. Let's go. All right, my chickadees, you have two minutes remaining. Oh. I actually love this host. He's so sort of blase, but he's like, yeah, my chickadees, let's go. He hasn't quite got like the flair and the sort of like, va va voom that like Alan Cummings and Claudia Winkleman have, but he's got the right amount of like, ugh, 
guys, come on, <laughs> that I like in a host for this kind of show. I think I think he's actually quite entertaining. I think all of the hosts are actually quite good, to be fair. I, I've not disliked a host of The Traitor so far. Someone's going to need to clean this up. No one looked in Paul Henry's book. I gotta say, I love how, like, the first episode of, like, US, UK, and Australia, they're always doing some crazy, crazy missions. Like, the first episode of the first ever series of The Traitors in the UK, they were, like, lighting a wicker man on fire, having to, like, dive into a lake to get it. This one... It's just find some gold coins in the house. Just just find some gold coins. That's all they have to do is just look around the house. Gold coins. Not gold coins, they're silver coins. Ah! I'd like you each to take a vial and return to your seat. <laughs> Ooh, it seems quite culty. Eh? I don't like these green vials. What is going on here? This show's so radically different to every other version of the traitors that I've seen that it's actually really exciting to watch. Damn, this is fun. Tip your vial of green liquid into the cocktail of the person you trust the least. <gasps> We're doing a trust exercise already. Interesting. Interesting. What happens if everyone just starts pouring the green liquid into the cocktail, just flowing over? I don't think I can hack that. I'll be sitting there going, guys, please, please. I promise I'm a faithful. I'm actually a traitor, but I promise I'm a faithful. Oh, Dylan has been extremely vocal. I've already got, no, you can't. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Two people into one cocktail. That is going to taste gross when he starts drinking it. He's going to be like, oh, it tastes good green. Just tastes like green. It tastes like the Grinch's piss. Oh. Oh. Kings. Oh. Oh. <laughs> She's like, keep filling it up, darling. I can't do the accent for that. But keep filling it up. Go on then lovely i actually don't know how i would take that if you were literally pouring all the vials like four vials so far i don't know how many more people are gonna put theirs in i'll, I'll keep a running tally but four so far crazy <laughs> everyone's doing it this is great for me i don't have to wander across the room oh my i love this woman can we keep her on the whole series <laughs> she's so funny she's like oh fuck it <laughs> oh i love it that's six by the way so far including hers that's six he's a really nice guy but i just got a weird vibe off dan oh <gasps> and that was what's feeling well that was a shocking twist in the tale i'm astounded what do you mean day one just no. like pew, out. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's it the clock strikes 12. Done. That's it. One of these people is not making it to breakfast the next day. I don't actually know who it's going to be. I'm very excited to see the options when the traitors meet. But let's get into the cheeky, naughty decision making, shall we? She's so sweet, so nice. No one would ever vote her off. Like, you just feel too bad to banish her. I think this is such a good traitor team. This could be very, very good. Oh, excellent. Love it. I think this is brilliant. I'm very excited. Oh, I'm so excited for this series. I can't believe I'm going away this weekend. Oh, you guys are going to have to wait like about a week for the next episode. We'll do these weekly because this is exciting. I can't just binge this. Like it, I need to sit there and I need to be anticipating. I need to be sitting there going, oh, what's going to happen in the next episode? I need to know now, but I can't watch it now. So I've got to think about it and mull it over. Kimberly has to be murdered because she has too much influence in the room. If she picks one of us, we're all at risk. No, Kimberly is not the person that you want to get rid of. What you want to do is you want to let her go after Robbie and then kill her off. You want to at least let her take out Faithful with her bad psychicness and then take her out. Don't take her out first night. Don't. Because I really, really, really do think that that is a poor choice, personally. My hidden strategy is to try to keep Brooke around as long as possible because I know inherently that, you know, he's an easy alliance for me because he's a friend. That's a good point. Keep your friends close and your enemies need to go home. <laughs> That's kind of what this is amounting to. Brooke is one of these people that he can kind of control. And I feel like that's an interesting 
position to be in when you're playing this game is to have people that you actually have some kind of spell control over because they're a friend and because they don't believe that you could be a traitor in that way so it's someone that you could potentially cut loose at some point but i don't know i don't think getting rid of it, i feel like there's a bigger move to be made here i feel like there is a much bigger move i mean dylan's quite dangerous I think. dylan is really intelligent everyone will be thinking about him a little bit mm doesn't really point anyone's particular way does it again i think this is this is the move this is the move getting rid of this guy i can't remember his name even though they've said it about three times kieran i can't remember this is the guy that you need to get rid of he's someone that is very very good at sussing people out he's also potentially someone that people will listen to when he comes out with his crackpot theories because he's a conspiracy theorist isn't he so i think he's someone that you need to 86 real quick quiet like and get on with it get on with the game he's not making his breakfast i think the other two are poor choices i think this guy is the guy to get rid of wow this series looks sick i'm i'm so i'm so happy there's another season of the traitors for me to watch i've been traitorless since june and then before that it was like march was the last time i watched the traitors so like i needed something juicy to get me through this or um drizzle that's happening at the moment it's just rain outside it's awful it's ugh i need something that's going to keep me entertained keep me entertained please over the next 10 weeks right Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. There'll be a new episode probably every week, maybe twice a week if I get the time and the schedule for it, but definitely once a week. So make sure you look forward to that. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. See you guys later. Make sure to comment and subscribe and keep on ranting. Bye now. Oh, that was a bit voice cracky.